This is Craig Klein from Credexo, and today I'm going to demonstrate multi-factor authentication using Web Access Proxy and Azure Active Directory. This allows secure access to both on-premise and cloud applications, convenient phone-based or text message-based authentication methods for anywhere access, ensuring enterprise security and compliance. This safeguards your data and applications against malware and hacker threats, real-time alert notification to IT of compromised credentials. You need to enable multi-factor authentication in, in the Azure Management Portal. You can choose from a per-user or per-authentication-based pricing model. I'll include a one-page tear sheet that you can uh, download uh, from uh, the video that will allow you to see uh, these different options. You can uh, attach your Azure tenant if you, if you want. It's an optional uh, element to the service. You can pick applications you want to allow for multi-factor authentication. In this example, I'm going to be using Office 365 Outlook web app. Uh, so I'm going to navigate in IE here to login.microsoftonline.com. I'm going to go ahead and enter in my demo account. And you'll see it'll redirect me here to the uh, uh, Credexo page. I'll type Credexo Corporation and type in my password. And you'll see here the option for multi-factor authentication. I'll click on that. And uh, there's a pull-down message for both uh, either a phone call or text message. We'll start with a text message. I'll uh, go ahead and initiate the text message authentication. I'm going to pop over here to a program called My SMS that will allow you to see um, uh, text messages received on my phone. There it is. Here's the reply uh, uh, verification message. So I need to reply with 712835 and send. And I'll pop back over here and you'll see that this should pop up in just a second. Pop back over here. There it is. And you can see it's uh, popped up with um, some additional security questions to add another layer of security. So I'm going to just make up some stuff here. We'll just make up the uh, the rabbit and pet's name. Uh, any, anyway, I'm going to cancel this and we'll go back in uh, using a phone message verification to uh, show you how that works. Um, so I'm going to click cancel. Uh, you see the authentication got canceled. I'm going to go back over here and we'll start again. I'll go ahead and enter in my And uh, I'll type in multi-factor, and this time we'll use a phone mess, phone call, and uh, call me now to authenticate, and I'll let you listen in on the phone call that I receive. And here we go. All right, so I'm going to hit pound. You have been signed in. Goodbye. And that ends this process, and you'll see here it popped up again with the multi-factor authentication uh, second layer with questions. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter in a couple of uh, um, favorite movie is. Uh, uh, Let's just put Star Wars. Her teacher's name was uh, 
This teacher. And I'm going to continue. And now you'll see that uh, it'll actually take me into the Outlook Web Access, Outlook Web App. There we go. And uh, so that uh, concludes uh, the demo. I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of different. Here's a diagram that shows um, kind of the process that we've used for this authentication. And I'll leave that up for just another minute or, or another 30 seconds or whatever. So you can see that. And then I'll show you the one page tear sheet that you can download as a PDF from. Uh, from YouTube in the comments section. And here's that one page tear out covering most of the information that I've already covered for you. You can refer to our article uh, for more information about the other technologies that are involved with this demo. Again, this is Craig Klein from Credexo. Thank you and have a great day.